our fellow wanderer. I see you've met the resident knight, sister, but uh, unlike most, you're alive. <laughs> well, lightsaber? No, no, don't hide it. That would explain your survival. Who are you? You know, no, no one to fear. <laughs> Just a traveler, studying the nature of extinct cultures and dead philosophies. You study the Night Sisters? I study many things. But yes, that Night Sister, well, she was only a child when the war came to this world. She had to watch her whole family perish. What do you know about those ruins? Well, uh, beyond belief. The Night Sister and her warrior kin were seduced by the power that lurks within. Avoid the ruin. Or suffer the same fate. How do you know so much about the Night Sister? Observation. I've seen many things since coming here. What does that mean? Must it mean something? Too many great minds have gone astray in pursuit of order. I gotta get going. <laughs> yeah, I can't jump that high. Yeah, far. Yeah. That. Follow him closely. Shakes in fear. Have real power. Let him. Are all Jedi so weak? Just you and me, then.
It's okay, Grease. You'll be okay. You're with Jedi. It's safe. <laughs> I'm safe. Who's there? Oh, Cal. Are we ready to go? I need a second. What'd you find? Nothing good. Everything that moves here is trying to kill me. There's a reason why no one wants to visit this desolate planet. Not everyone. I ran into this wanderer. He called himself a scholar, said he came to study Dathomir. I would be very careful, Cal. You need to be on guard against anyone seeking out the darkness of Dathomir. He was a pretty strange guy. Do you know anything about the Night Sisters of Dathomir? I knew a little. Many Jedi weren't even aware of their existence, but being Cordova's apprentice came with some unique insight. He always thought they were interesting, as he did with most ancient cultures. And what did you think? I never came here. I never wanted to. As I recall, that was about the time the two of us began going our separate ways. The darkness always has an effect, one way or another. What's our next destination? Zepho? Sure, let's go. Today, our great military is dedicated to enforcing the laws of the Empire. Yielding to no one who seeks to destroy our galactic harmony. You hear that garbage? Turn it off, please. Lying imps. Do you think anyone buys this junk? Too many on the core worlds. Their daily lives haven't changed much since the Empire took over. Oh, come on. Some of them are even richer than before. Not like the expendable worlds. Not like Latera. As long as the Emperor keeps the right people happy, it'll never stop. That's why we need the Jedi. Then we better get this hollow thing fast. Get over here, kid. We're about to land. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to... Copy that. Oh. Couple bombs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. If it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck.
right then. What was in there? That's not moving.